Hi everyone and welcome back to today's Morning Report on Wednesday the 1st of April with me Rich Perry Market Analyst at Handtech Markets. Moving on to cable now and we've just literally in the last couple of minutes had this um, uh, PMI data uh, for manufacturing coming out and it came in basically in line with expectations at um, 54 spot 4 on cable. Uh, for for the UK, now that has been taken um, slightly negatively, actually it seems in the in the subsequent minutes, and cable is starting to fall away, and that I believe is just a, a continuation of this drift lower that we've got on cable. You've got this um, 21 day moving average, which provided the base of resistance, was supported through February, and is now consistently providing the resistance that currently comes in around 49.20. Uh, looking at these momentum indicators as well, all drifting lower. Stochastics also crossing back over, and that is not a positive signal. Now, this is the um, the hourly chart, and we can see this acceleration now, this dollar strengthening, this pulling cable lower on the back of this data, and uh, we're starting to see across the board the dollar strengthening um, as we as we go this morning, and um, we're now sort of locking in this high that we had at 48.70 coming in underneath the 49.20 high, which um, it sort of continues this sequence of lower highs that we've had in the last few days. The momentum indicator is pretty much turning negative again. You've had a crossover on the MACD lines on the hourly. You've had stochastics are in decline, so you looks like we're going to be putting pressure on this 47.50 area, which is the support of the last couple of days. And it looks like I think we're going to be coming back to test the next key levels in that recovery, which is uh, 46.85, if it ever comes up, which is annoying. Is that 40, sorry, 47.20. This is 46.85, and then subsequently 46.33, which is the low. So I think that that's what we're seeing. I see. I think this. Um, putting pressure continuing on to the downside now having broken below the 48 figure level I can see that um, pressure is certainly building once again to the downside I'd be using any sort of rallies as a chance to sell because um, I think we're going to be testing lower and um, that sort of continues my theme I think generally of of cable weakness having failed to get back above this 49.50 to 50 big figure resistance. Anyway, I wish you good luck in your trading on cable and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.